Firstly, I want to say thank you guys for getting me to 5k. That means so much to me. And in honor of that, I've just dropped my tech pack or illustrator vector of mockups up onto my um, site for five bucks. Um, just to say thank you guys. I was originally going to drop it for $30, but I'm like, nah. I just say thank you um, for getting me to 5K. We're almost at 5.5, which is absolutely insane. Road to 10K. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's Wilson, also known as Design by Will. And in today's video, we're going to be designing some summer t shirt graphics for your Stuart brand. Now, the influence slash style for this graphic is mainly just um, 90s and 80s skateboarder, like event graphic tees. Um, and that's basically the premise of this whole video um, And this is not gonna be so much of a tutorial But more so just like a talking phase and little points here and there of what I'm doing um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Right now, all I've done is just traced out this guy, um, put him into Illustrator, and then used Image Trace to turn that trace of black or the silhouette, the trace silhouette, into a vector. And now I'm just cleaning that vector up, and I'm thinking of ways on how to get that thermal look. And at first, I was gonna make it look like it's he's radiating energy, but then I was like, oh, that's kind of overplayed a little bit. And I just put the thermal actually in his body, but first I had to get the colors because I'm like. What does body heat map look like and obviously the best way to find out is to go to google images and find a little reference point for the colors this coloring or like heat map process took way too long, but it was fun just drawing these squiggly lines without a second thought, trying to make them look as natural as possible and trying to follow like the squiggly like heat map version on the actual reference because it's not perfect. So we're just trying to recreate that within our graphic, I guess, to build those, those heat areas. I didn't do any research when I'm designing for myself. I don't really do much research in terms of what I want to put on the actual t-shirts and it just lets me flow very, very well. Essentially, this is how I draft designs or even how I draft design for clients. I just straight to design. Sometimes I sketch if it's really important and that takes a lot of time, but if it's just mainly for myself or smaller projects, I usually just go straight to Illustrator and just play what feels right. Um, and it's hard to teach that because you don't want to teach people bad habits. You want to teach people the traditional method of designing, not because it's important or anything. It's just good practices to sketch first and then put those sketches into a physical or even digital form, for instance. But right now, yeah, I'm just playing around with the placements. Um, and this is the type of typography I'm using. I really like this typography at the moment. It's one of my favorites, especially with design. And you can see me here playing with different shapes and stuff so I can use envelope env envelope warp in Illustrator like it warps the text to whatever shape that you put on top, which is really cool. It's a really cool way of getting 
very cool effect very quickly and i'll be using that effect a lot within this project that's why i tell people to get illustrator because if you want to have good typography design literally you have to use illustrator you can do this in photoshop but it's going to look so sloppy because it's not going to be sharp it's going to be very pixelated because it's not going to be a vector anyway it didn't work because the shape was too obscure for the actual type i could go in and cut the individual shapes out of the big shape and then it would work that way but it wasn't working for me so i just had to delete the shape and redo it so it fit a lot better Right now we're just playing with the colors and the tones at the moment. The colors are really nice, but they're just, they're not correlating very well with the type. And I feel like the blocky black type is doing too much, especially with this graphic. And also just the blue is, is just not working for me. So I'm just gonna change that and make him black and red, like I said before, and you guys have already seen the final product. So yeah, let's just speed through this whole process of me playing with colors. I feel like this this color looks a lot cool it looks a lot more chaotic and i feel like it gives contrast to whatever peace in mind is um and it just builds some interesting talking points for the, the design um so yeah i'm gonna go with like this mounting red lava type um thermal rather than the classic blue or hot to cold thermal To also play on that concept, I'm going to be adding some flames to the typography um, and also to the design just to make everything seem cohesive. Obviously, we're playing with lava, hot, fire, correlation. It's there. Put it with the design. It'll work. Good, good, good. And also, flames are just really easy to integrate into designs. Like, it's, it just works. No matter what you do, just add a flame and you should be okay. But don't make it corny. Now that we've got the premise for the front of the design ready, we're just gonna bring that into the back, um, the same art direction and just follow that through through the design. And then we're gonna bring it into Photoshop to add some final touches, which is just some grunge. Like I said before, I'm gonna be using envelope warp or envelope, um, what's it called? Clipping mask for this design, just to get that text to form it how I want it without having to shape or anything like free transform or just transforming in Photoshop. You can't really do that in Illustrator. So this is the best way to utilize that, but keep that vector within your text. So now without further ado, let's get straight into the back design.
and basically that's design one completely done i'm just bringing into some mock-ups and now we're going to start in design two design two is going to be a little bit different it's going to be focused more so on those homage t-shirts i'm going to be using tupac as a focal point for this graphic and you guys will see why i really love how the second shirt turned out but everyone's liking this one a lot better than the other one for the brand but let me know what you guys think in the description so far down below do you guys want to learn an in-depth video on how to develop this sort of ripped um, metal type grunge look for your streetwear brand if so just let me know and i'll build out a video for you guys but right now there's not a lot of interest uh it's still in the y2k focus so yeah i'm just trying to appeal to my current target audience i don't want anybody to feel left out you know main premise for this design is basically Tupac, he's born in New York, concrete jungle, um, peace, he's about peace and love but he's also like rapping about hard stuff and hardships in life and yeah I just brought all that, that's basically what was flowing in my head as I was designing this project and that was just the basic thought process of the design, hope you guys enjoy. Just using this basic Arabic type with Tupac Shakur. Um, I was trying to look for like Egyptian hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs, whatever, however you say it. Um, and it was too late. Like that didn't click in my head until I finished the design. I was like, oh my gosh, I just missed out on a sick opportunity for like some like little miscellaneous like graphics here and there that I could have put on the wall. But I wasn't thinking at the time. I was just trying to get the design out. But once I finalize this design and get it ready for um, print, I think I'm going to tweak these designs a little bit. Like I want to add a crack throughout the whole middle of this design and put like a, a mic coming out somewhere because I feel like that would look sick. But yeah, this is just basically how I'm going to bring this up. And I'm actually going to be using um, for this uh, front graphic, I'm going to be using um, the Arcadia layer styles. I'm going to be using one of those layer styles and then just warping it and making it more simple. So it matches the rest of the design um, and yeah, that's just how I'm going to design this one. I had this issue that came up on Photoshop and I basically cut off all my screen recording for some reason and it was super annoying so I apologize because it's going to jump straight into the back design already done for this one and that's 100% my fault because this has happened before and I've tried to fix it and it's not saved the design um, and I just realized all you have to do is just press command D and then exit because something's selected but Apologies guys, um, but yeah, that's just basically the back design for this one and we're just going to apply the same things.
time to rate these designs. This time we're going to go on actual scale. So it's going to be um, difficulty. So how to make this and somebody else can replicate it. Um, it's going to be trend wise. And then it's going to be personal scale. So from difficulty, I feel like this isn't that difficult to recreate if you know your way around these programs. So for difficulty scale, we're going to give this one a solid, I would say five. So mid range. Trend wise, I'm going to give this one a solid 10 because this is what's trending at the moment. Um, so for personal scale or what? It's fire, I guess. I'll give this one a solid seven. So I don't know how to do math in my head. Average, we'll just give it an eight. It's an eight. It's cool. Not even eight. We'll give it a solid seven. Um, and I like the design, but obviously we know which one's the bias for me. For me, this design is just a ten. In terms of like creating, I guess I think it's a solid six, seven, maybe. Um, at most but yeah overall a 10 I really love this design I really love the green and I feel like this one I'm gonna print and once people see it printed I feel like it'll do better than the other one because it's a mock-up and I guess that's what happens with designs unless you can see it printed it doesn't really do it justice and that's why I started revision so I can start printing these projects off and get them printed and I'm um, show you guys the process of those and going more in depth so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm sorry for my absence but back to regular scheduling and like i said i'm developing a summer collection video luxury summer collection video so make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys get a notification when i drop that one and i'll see you guys when i see you thank you for your love peace